I bet you didn't know Sir Isaac Newton's three laws of motion play a major role in wrestling. In fact, without these laws, it would be nearly impossible to wrestle. I think it's cool that easy, even something as easy as just sports or wrestling in general could be broken down to a science to make it that much more cool and interesting to learn about. Dean's a member of Beat the Streets, a wrestling club that helps New York City kids fulfill their athletic and academic potential. Today, the coaches demonstrate how wrestling and science go hand in hand. Beat the Streets on three, one, two, three, Beat the Streets! It actually helps you learn the move better, honestly, because when, when you're thinking about that stuff, you think, oh, I need a jump and gravity will pull me back down, but you have to time it right so they don't sweep your foot. So it's all these little things that you gotta think about while you're wrestling, but it also relates to that science part of it. Since wrestling is mostly based on physics, Sir Isaac Newton could have easily been talking about the three laws of wrestling when he discovered the three laws of motion. A lot of wrestling is pushing and pulling and a lot of motion going into wrestling. If you shoot on someone or try to take someone's leg down and there's no motion going on, they're just gonna be able to fall on you. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So if you push on someone and they push back into you, that's how you can create motion. You can get your takedowns and things like that. Every action having an equal and opposite reaction is one of Newton's three laws of motion. Another one is the law of inertia, or when an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. How does that work in wrestling? There's a move called an arm drag, where you're, someone's pushing back into you and you kind of step out of the way, kind of like a bull when you have the curtain up and you go out of the way, they keep going. So there's a move like that where you kind of trip them as you arm drag and they keep going and they fall on their face because you trip their legs. So their body keeps going because there's nothing stopping them. So you were there at one point and then when you go away, they keep going. Newton's second law of motion, force equals mass times acceleration, is another major factor in wrestling. The heavier a person is, if you keep going with all your force, they're gonna go over, like we're gonna go over gut wrenches today and you wanna expose their back as best you can. When you do that, you keep going and if you're heavier and you have enough force going straight on, they, they tend to go over a lot better than if you're a little lighter and you don't have much, enough force going together. So the more mass and the more acceleration going forward, the easier it is to take them over. In addition to Newton's three laws of motion, gravity also plays an important role in wrestling. Gravity is obviously, it's always there. So when you're wanting to take someone down and when you're wanting to get them to the mat, gravity's on your side as long as you use it to your advantage. So I guess um, when you have a leg up in the air and you lift it high up and they keep falling, you want them to fall to the ground. So you just have to kind of help with that by sweeping out their leg or, or doing something. But it always plays in a factor in, in a sport where you're trying to get someone down to the ground. Friction, does that come into play? When we do our gut wrenches, um, there's a lot of, you're sliding someone across the mat, so there's a lot of friction. So that can help you at times and hurt you at times. And also when someone's in on a shot and they're trying to take you down, we, uh, we preach that you have to keep your toes down because they slide better. And if your toes are up, then you get friction going backwards and they push into you, so. From friction to gravity to the laws of motion, science and wrestling are clearly working together, both on the mat and off. It's actually the exact unit we're doing right now, the, the, uh, the laws of motion and, and all that stuff. So it's, it's, you know, it's good to relate it to something that I'm, I like to do. Sweep single, like, if you're like, I'm pulling him towards me and then I'm pushing him away. Like, that's actually a sort of science and that's pretty cool. Cause I re really don't do good in science in school. So to, for me to be able to do it on the mat, it's pretty cool. I'm Tina Beth Pina for Science and You.